but nothing from the alcohol plant ends up in the environment. It is all made profit from. And that's them. We can do a much better job. Dave? Yes. Well, okay, the price of gasoline has nothing to do with the price of barrel of oil. Nothing whatsoever. Because if you take a look at what comes out of a barrel of oil, this was, a, and I'm telling you, this is a 1980 figure. It's much more now. In 1980, a barrel of oil generated $25,000 worth of products, nylons, pesticides, various plastics, industrial chemicals. And that, you know, that was about 15% or so of the oil went to that. The rest of the oil goes, is thrown away. It, it becomes toxic waste. And we pay for the privilege of getting rid of their toxic waste because whatever's left over from making more valuable things from oil ends up in the gasoline. There are over 400 different things on a given day that get dumped into gasoline, and no two days are alike, depending on what they're making in the refinery. And we pay to get rid of the toxic waste. So the money the oil companies make, because they're oil companies, is from all those other products. Pesticides cost $80 a pound. The oil costs almost nothing per pound in, compa in comparison to that. So there's no reason to charge us full freight for fuel except for green, because the money they're making on the, you know, all the important, so-called important stuff um, really pays the whole freight. You know, and just like Rockefeller dumping that gasoline in the rivers at night, they've just arranged to neatly package it up there for us and tell us how it's so special and they make it just for us and it's just right just and it's better than everyone else's and it's just toxic waste. And it's carcinogenic, it's mutagenic, it's tetragenic, which means it damages fetuses. It's horrible stuff. The stuff that's in gasoline is banned in industry. Benzene. Benzene, you can't use that anywhere nowadays. Yet it's permitted to be up to 30% of gasoline. It's a garbage byproduct. Totally carcin carcinogenic. Two strokes. You burn that stuff in a two stroke engine. The difference between a four stroke and a two stroke is that in a four stroke, the, the basic cycle is the piston goes down, it sucks in air and fuel, it goes up and compresses it. The spark plug fires, it drives the piston down. That's the third stroke, right? One stroke. So you have one stroke, two strokes, three strokes goes down, and then it pushes on the fourth stroke, pushes the exhaust out. With two strokes, it's down and up, which means that the intake and exhaust valves are open at the same time for a brief time, and unburned fuel goes out the exhaust. Benzene, toluene, and xylene are up to 40% of gasoline, and it goes out of the exhaust. Severe carcinogens. So two strokes can run on alcohol just fine, there's special two-stroke oils that mix with alcohol that you can uh, that do the lubrication because in two strokes you have to put the lubricant in the fuel. Uh, I have used biodiesel as a lubricant with alcohol at rates of 75 and 100 to one. You know, one part biodiesel, you know, 75 or 100 parts alcohol. Nowhere runs just fine. Biodiesel is a very good lubricant. Um, 